Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and today is tip number 20, I believe, for March the 6th, 2019. Today involves understanding squelch. So, of course, every scanner radio has squelch and a lot of people don't understand what squelch is all about. What's squelch? So, okay, I'll turn on the scanner radio and I'll put it manually on the frequency. Squelch is a, a threshold where anything that doesn't actually go or any signal that's not strong enough to go above a certain level will be blocked. And if you scan, what's happening is you've got a lot of the channels, a lot of the frequencies that only has white noise. So with the squelch off, all you hear is this. And that's what you don't want. If you scan channels, you'll have to just move to the threshold where the squelch actually mutes the audio. But you don't want to go too high because the higher the squelch is, the less signals you'll actually get. The higher you put your squelch level, the weaker signals will just be invisible to the scanner radio. They, it won't stop because it doesn't reach the threshold required for the squelch. So what you want to do is turn your squelch button until it stops. Don't go higher. If you've just set it up like this, this should be okay. By setting it just barely above where there's that threshold where the audio gets muted, you have a good chance of being able to scan signals but still have the weak signals come through. That's what you want to have. So don't set the squelch to high because you'll miss out on tons of signals that are much weaker and that won't be able to actually, um, you know, uh, trigger that threshold where you can listen to the signal. Now you might say, okay, well, why does it have such a high setting? Why can I set the squelch so high? Because there are times when you want to have a higher squelch threshold. When? Well, let's say you're scanning frequencies and you notice your scanner stops on birdies or stops on signals that are weak but have no audio, nothing in it, and it's always stopping there. Well, then what you want to do is maybe set that squelch a little higher so that that signal disappears and that every time you scan, it won't stop there. Of course, that also means your scanner will be less sensitive to weaker signals. But sometimes you got to work your way around. You got to set that squelch low enough so that you get your weak signals, but higher than maybe internal birdies that you're getting from the scanner or just weak signals that are not interesting that your scanner might actually stop on. And basically then you can scan through the channels. And if you've got um, something that's receivable, you'll actually have it received or you actually listen to it. So remember, squelch just above the noise threshold when the audio stops. You don't go higher than that. Unless there's some undesirable signal that you might want to move a little higher, but it's not always the case. It depends what you want to do. If the signal you're trying to block is very strong, then using the squelch is not a good idea. You better just, you know, uh, continue scanning and unfortunately every time you cross that signal you'll have to press the scan button to continue. It, there are some times when it's not very useful. So the r most important rule is you want to set the squelch to the lowest level possible but high enough so that you don't hear the hiss of that you know that that hiss of the background noise. There we go. And this should be pretty much okay for what I am uh, doing on this scanner radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thanks for following our videos.